welcome to the Miami Heat Zone podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, we're pushing to 4,000 subscribers. Now, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and thank you for all the support. So Milwaukee Bucks fans are surprised that Dame named Bam and none of his own teammates in his starting five, as if he didn't make it painfully clear all summer that he only wanted to be in Miami. And that's the part that I don't understand about Milwaukee Bucks fans and NBA fans. Damian Lillard, he was the most loyal guy in the whole NBA. The one minute he wants to go to a different team, all of a sudden now there's an issue. All of a sudden now we're seeing letters from the NBA. I understand that Dame is supposed to be a professional and he's still supposed to do his job. But once again, same thing with Donovan Mitchell. He never wanted to go to Cleveland. He only wanted to either go to the Miami Heat or the New York Knicks. So now why are we surprised that Donovan Mitchell might leave? Same thing with Damian Lillard. He never wanted to go to to the Milwaukee Bucks. They laughed at me. They clowned me. They said I was crying and stopped complaining. Oh, he should be able to go to the best deal that Joe Cronin wants. People were going nuts about this. And they never did it for James Harden. They never did it for Kevin Durant. They never did it for Kyrie Irving. All these different players got to pick where they want to go. And why? The one time a player wants to actually go to the Miami Heat, it's an uproar. It's a problem. The NBA should ban it. The NBA is sending in letters from the east and west, north and south, trying to block the trade. It's just ridiculous to me. And at the end of the day, I understand where the Milwaukee Bucks fans are coming from, but they should have never have traded Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday should still be on the roster. They should have traded Drew Middleton. But once again, that's what the Milwaukee Bucks get for poking their nose in business that had nothing to do with them.